This is Michael Pick for Master New Media and today we're creating some subtitles. So what I need to do first of all is to just put in a YouTube video or a video from anywhere on the web and that will bring up the video and I can now access that video and add subtitles to it. So it's a very simple process. The video is now up there and it's playing and I'm being prompted now to add a bubble. And basically when I click on that I get the option to customize exactly what I want to add and annotate this video with. If I click on subtitles I get this nice subtitle box here and then I can just quickly enter my text in the little grey bar and that basically automatically gives me some subtitles. Those are going to be centered for me. No problems with the layout, anything like that. It's all very straightforward. Once I'm happy with that, I can change the start, the duration and the end times to make sure it fits exactly the right section of the video. And then when I'm happy with it, that's no problem at all. Everything's good. I just click on play and that's automatically added. And you can see I get a nice chunky text there, which basically gives me my subtitles. So this is totally foolproof, I mean anyone could make use of this, I'd feel quite happy giving this to my grandmother to do some subtitling for me. So once I've got that I just click on the subtitle again, enter the next line of text that I want and as I say I can really get these perfectly synced up using the start and end points, click on play and then it just automatically sort of dumped straight into the file for me so it's all ready to go. Now once I've finished and I've got all of my subtitles done, I just click on done creating and I've got some different sharing options that I can now use. One of them is to just give someone a link so people can come straight away and view that actually hosted on the site. Alternatively, if I click here, I can share it via email and I get a little form to write in people's emails, leave them a little message. And then finally, of course, as you'd expect, you can embed the video using the little embed code down at the bottom here. And that basically means you can plug that into your own website with the subtitles all included, which is great. Same works with Majiti, it's very very simple, same process going on here. So we're entering the uh, page that we want to get the video from, this could be YouTube, Google Video, whatever. And then click on process. Now in this case it's going to tell me that it doesn't like the file because it's already got it. Now the thing about Majiti is it's got a community. So if someone's already uploaded one video, that video is there open for all different people to add their own subtitles to. In this case I've been working on this earlier, so we've already got this video ready to go. And actually when it comes up it will actually pop up with all of the subtitles I've been working on earlier. Navigation here is great, you can scroll through and you can actually see the different subtitles and by clicking on play it will automatically skip to that subtitle and you've got all the start and end points written on there as well so this is a really good way to navigate your way around. That will then seek and as you see it pops straight up with the subtitle that I've created earlier. I just really like the way they've given me all of that metadata there on the right so I know exactly where I'm clicking, I know exactly which part of the subtitling I'm going to. That really does make a difference when you're on an intensive project with a whole lot of different captions on it. Now another thing that you can do is import subtitles or caption files which is great because for anyone that's worked with those subtitles you can bring those in. You can also import spots from another spot set or you can create a whole new spot set which is basically a whole new set of uh, subtitles. Adding spots is really simple, you click down here and that will automatically by default bring up a text box. If you click on the next in line subtitle that brings up a nice blank box and clicking in there what you see is what you get here. So when I enter this text this is exactly what I'm going to see on the video. So if I don't like the size of it or the colour or any of those things thankfully there are some options in Majiti that I can go in and change those with by clicking on format spot. Here I can make the font a little bit bigger, so here we go, I've pumped it up because that was a little bit small to read. And I think I'm going to change the colour of it as well, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now as you can see I've cut off some of the text there by making it so big, so if I just slide that up and drag down the binding box, I've now got all of the text in there and I can move that to any position on the screen that I want, so it's very very flexible in that respect. So. When I'm happy with how the text looks, I can make sure that the timings are right by going to the start and the end points. This is going to be two seconds, which is probably enough for someone to read it. Click on save spot, and there it is, that pops up on the right hand side in the little box. That's now another thing that I can skip straight to. So it really couldn't be simpler, and if I just click on that, we can jump straight to the thing that I've just created and see exactly what we've done. So it's all very, very simple, all very, very straightforward, and there it is. Now when I want to share it, I just click down here on email video or alternatively embed video and that's going to give me that embed code that I can put into my website. So there you go, subtitling made very very easy and completely free. Get subtitling.